Well, it's Thursday, and it's about 10.15. Uh, yeah, okay. Lunch at 11 uh, with the old farts, P-H-A-R-T-Z. And uh, I've out here, been out here for about an hour or so. I've got all the wires and the headlight connected. Uh, I will stop on the way home and get a, a, a connector for the back of this, this bulb and clean up these three wires, but they're hooked up electrically. Uh, turn signals are on. All the wiring under the gas tank is put back together. I just mounted the horn in between the down tubes here. Let's see, not bad. This is a neat little mount that I bought up at the hard, at the um, chopper shop for cable runs, but I've turned it sideways, made a bracket, and it holds it up in there just fine. It may vibrate, we'll find out. Uh, let's see, um, I put the mag pickup into the boiler. It's in there, it's not, the timing's not set, but uh, if the ignition actually turns on when I turn the key on, I should get spark when I turn the motor over. It just won't be at the right time, of course. But spark is spark when you're first putting these things together. So, um, back ends all together, tail light turn signals, and um, I'll do the start, I'll start doing the electrical testing uh, probably after lunch and see uh, see what kind of smoke I can generate, see what doesn't work. Uh, that's about it. Let's see what happens. Well, it's about four o'clock on Thursday. Uh, came back from the um, Old Farts lunch. Old Farts, P-H-A-R-T-Z. And uh, right now, Fred is pretty much complete, down to about the 98, 95, 96, 97, 98 point. It's a complete working motorcycle now, elect electrically. What's left to be done? Uh, hang a tank up in the air. Well, I got the tank over there, remote tank. I'll use that to supply some gasoline to it and start it up and see if it'll run. To do that, we have to set the timing. Timing is installed, the timing timing system, electronic ignition system is installed. Uh, everything seems to work as far as the electrical system is concerned. Let me show you, I'll turn on the ignition key, red light, that should go out when the bike starts. Uh, let's check the um, spark. Let's see if I can reach across. Let's get down real close. I don't know if you can see that, but I sure can. Good spark. Good spin. Come over here and check this one. Front brake activates the rear brake just fine. Foot brake activates the rear brake light just fine. When I turn the lights on, I get illumination in my instruments. I get a tail light. Walking up here, I get a headlight. I have high beam and low beam, like so. I have a horn. <coughs> beep, beep. Uh, turn signals. Left. Yep. And going back down here. To the right. Let's turn them on. Switch. Wrong switch. Oh, they're over there. Never mind. <laughs> I was moving the kill switch. Okay, to the right. Hello, turn signal. Okay, there's left. 
And there is right. Okay, thank you. Whew, a minute there. Okay. So I got all the lights, horn, ignition, spark, um, high beam, low beam. And uh, basically, this is uh, the electrical system's complete pending a first start and see how it goes. So sometime in the next day or two, we'll set the ignition timing, the static timing, hook up the external gas uh, supply, spin it up and see if it'll run. So uh, one other problem I know I have is there's a leak on this, this fork. There you go. So this seal is gone. I'll have to fix that. And uh, then on the other side, doesn't matter because if you change one, you change both. This side's tight. No problem over here. But I'll get a set of seals and put them in. And, um, gosh, pending a receipt of the painted parts, which are still being painted, um, we have ourselves a reasonably complete motorcycle. So, that's where we are. I think we'll be working at Kevin's shop tomorrow, doing some minor stuff on the T20M. Uh, still waiting for the carburetor, but there's other things we want to do. So, that's it for today. Uh, Fred is coming together.